Welcome everyone to this demonstration of painting a pelican resting on the dock rail in soft pastels. I am using UART 600 grit pastel paper for this demonstration. I'm going to use an alcohol wash background for this painting. I'm using a reference photo to help me place the direction of the waves. I'm using my dark blue pastel stick to indicate the darkest shadows in the waves. Once I have placed these guidelines for my waves, I'll be able to come back with a a lighter shade of blue and place some color uh, beneath the crest of the waves. And then I'll use my light blue for the lightest highlighted areas. I just want to place an undertone of colors that I can blend with some isotopal alcohol. This will create a solid base of colors that won't smear or smudge as I apply pastel color over it. The alcohol dries very quickly, so I can begin placing dry pastel over it within a couple minutes. Now I will begin defining the wave patterns more clearly. As I begin to apply some more pastel, I'm very careful not to apply it too heavily. I want the colors that are in my base layer to show through to create layers of light and contrast. So you can begin to see some of these shapes developing in the water. As I add some of the darker tones beneath the crust of the wave, because this is where the shadows are being cast as the wave begins to rise, and then I gradually add lighter shades of blue as the water smooths out before it reaches the next crest. The water has many trails of light blue and white uh, foam that is created as the light reflects from the water. So I will continue to add some of these elements to the water that are created by the sun and wind on the surface. So I hope you've noticed that I haven't done a lot of blending. Um, a little bit of blending just beneath the crust of the waves. But other than that, the texture is beginning to show through and create a soft um, blend of colors that represent these calm, subtle waves. It does help to have a reference photo to follow when doing soft waves. Although I'm not matching the photo exactly, it's given me a good reference for the direction and flow of the water. I'm going to complete the water by adding the white trails of water that are swirling on top of the surface. I will use a combination of the light blue and white to finish these highlights and water trails that swirl in patterns on the surface. I hope you have found this water demonstration helpful. I'm only using the alcohol uh, wash for the water area and as I move on to beginning the pelican I will 
be only using uh, my pastel pencils and some small pastel sticks. So now we will move on to the pelican. I believe this is a juvenile pelican because of his brown head feathers. I'm going to begin by blocking in some color in his bill. I'm going to use a range of colors of uh, dark blue, even some violet, as a base layer before applying some of the darker grays and blues to his bill. It's important to have a saturated um, colors for a base before applying more to create the depth and contours of his bill. He has very dark eyes and a little bit of red uh, in the coloring next to his pupil. So here I'm still just creating a base of values and colors um, to use as I apply richer colors to create the feathers in his neckline and to add colors to enhance his very large bill. I'm going to shade his beak with some dark gray and blend lightly and I will add some yellow to the uh, tip of his beak and some color to the side view of his beak. I will continue to contour his beak and as I add some lighter uh, highlights with my light gray pastel pencil, the shape and contours begin to pop. Although his beak is not complete yet, I feel it has enough uh, foundation at this point that I can move on to complete the body of the pelican. Once I have the entire painting completed, I will come back and add more details and color to the beak of the bird and any areas that require a little more detail and highlights. So for now I think I'll stop my dialogue and let you follow along as I develop the feathers in the pelican's body. I will continue to narrate parts of this video as I move on to different key areas. So please follow along and enjoy.
I need to define the rail the bird is sitting on. I'd notice that the, the water needed to be um, moved up closer to the bird and the rail. So now I'm going to define some of the shadows uh, on the top of the rail uh, and the shadow that's being cast from the bird's body. The shadow is darkest at the uh, body source and as the shadow extends it becomes a little softer with some blurry edges. The shadow is also uh, somewhat translucent so that the grain of the wood actually shows through a little bit. There are many layers of feathers in the pelican's wing. I'm starting with the darkest layer of feathers that are primarily flat feathers beneath the uh, top layer of his wing. My aim is not to duplicate every single feather in his wing, but to suggest the feathers and fullness in the texture. So now I'm going to complete the bird's underbelly with some soft down feathers. I'm starting out with some gray as a base and gradually adding some lighter colors of light blue, cream, and white to complete a real full texture to these feathers. He also has his foot curled up underneath him and I want to overlap it with some soft fluffy down feathers. Now that his feathers are nearly complete I'm going to move on and begin working on the dock rail. I'm going to use three or four colors of pastel, a taupe color, a very light green, um, some brown and grays to create the texture in the wood. I will create some cracks and crevices uh, to give it a realistic feel of a real dock uh, rail. Once I've laid out most of the patterns in the wood, I'll come back with my 
darker gray to um, increase the saturation of the color before adding uh, a light gray highlight to areas where the sun is reflecting on the wood. Once the painting is done, it's so much easier to look at the whole piece and decide what edits and details still need to be added to the painting. I'm returning to the bird's beak just to give it a little bit more color saturation and contouring. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration of painting a pelican on the dock. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to press like if you like this video. And I look forward to sharing more videos, demonstrations, and lessons with you in the near future. Thank you for watching.